Uh, hey everyone, uh, I am Mr. Ladwick. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're most, you're most likely in my animation course, uh, or possibly you randomly found it on YouTube. Uh, either way, uh, welcome, because this is a welcome video for my animation course. And uh, I'm going to go through the class, kind of how it's set up, and uh, a little, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the software for the course. So, here's the front page of the course. Uh, it's in Moodle, obviously, and uh, uh, the top section out of the four sections is kind of a, in, a general information session uh, section where uh, there's some announcements, syllabus, intro to the course, uh, frequently asked questions, orientation quiz, syllabus quiz. Uh, make sure you're going to this weekly. Uh, there's going to be announcements, kind of the latest things going on in the course. Maybe there'll be some changes, that sort of stuff. But read this weekly. I'll be uh, posting new information uh, every Monday or Sunday night. As we scroll down, uh, you'll, the next section is about Animator, which is the main software we're using for the course. Now, Animator uh, is an older piece of three animation software. Uh, it has been updated recently, but it's still probably the easiest piece of three animation software to use that's out there. That's, at least that's free uh, to use. If you come across something that you think is better, please let me know. Uh, but I, Animator is still really easy to use, and nothing comes close, I don't think. Uh, but there is some issues with it. It doesn't work on uh, anything but a Windows machine, and even when you have a Windows machine, there's an occasional glitch that maybe I can I can walk you through. Uh, but this is the the unit one is the animator section, and these are the required assignments for my course. So go through these and try to finish each one by the by the due date. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually look at uh, the animator software real quick because there can be some issues, uh, especially if you have a somewhat new computer. Um, animator was designed uh, back when XP was still uh, the latest and greatest thing out there. So it's, it's meant for XP and hasn't been updated since. Uh, so if you uh, download it and throw the icon on your desktop uh, and double click on it, if it doesn't work, uh, here's what I want you to try first. Uh, right click on it, go to properties, and change the compatibility so it runs as Windows XP, either Service Pack 2 or 3. Click OK, and then try opening it again. And you have to go through the, is it a trusted program, etc. And, and usually that works, usually that fixes the problem and see good to go you may have to go in and change a few settings for instance if you want the grid to show up you may have to go into options grid and click on show grid uh, stuff like that but for the most part once you change that setting you're good to go all right let's go back to the course the second piece of software is completely optional uh, you can do the my full course by just doing animator assignments uh, work on it at home, work on it at school. Uh, we have animators set up on every computer at school, so you should be good to go. If it's not on one of the computers, let me know and I can help you install it. Uh, for the rest of the course, the assignments are optional. Uh, SketchUp is another, another piece of software we're using. It's not really animation software, it's, it's modeling software, but it, you learn a lot of the same uh, techniques and ways to do things, uh, and it's a it's a pretty easy piece of software to use. Uh, after Animator is probably the next easiest three pieces of software out there that to manipulate. Uh, there's a bunch of great lessons out there. I'll be putting those one at a time, and they're each worth a variety of points. You can do these instead of a lot of these. So first, try doing Animator projects, then try some SketchUp ones. You can add points to it. Uh, the third piece of software is Blender. Uh, Blender is a lot more powerful than Animator, but it also has a much steeper learning curve. So if you want more of a challenge, try Blender. Uh, if you want to do 3D three, three animation on your Mac at home, try Blender. Alright, let's check out the gradebook. Alright, in the gradebook, this section up here is the past due section. This is where I move things when they should have been done by now. Uh, and this is also the section that counts against you or for your grade. So what, when it's down here in the current assignment section, uh, it doesn't count against you on points, but when you move it up here, it does. You'll see your, your point total down here. You'll notice 
all the optional assignments are chilling down here, and I'm grading those as extra credit. So you, you can use those to replace uh, animator assignments that you're not going to do. For instance, if there's a 100-point assignment that you're not doing for animator, you can do a 100-point assignment for SketchUp or Blender, uh, and it washes out. Or you can decide to do all the assignments and get a bunch of extra credit and have a crazy high, uh, high grade in my class. Alright, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, first stop at the Frequently Asked Questions section of my course. If that doesn't help you, uh, obviously contact me through uh, Moodle Messenger or use my Odyssey Gmail. Uh, and that is it. Take care.